So in 2014, Toby Cosgrove asked me to come to Cleveland Clinic to begin to develop a program in functional medicine. And we collaborated with the Institute for Functional Medicine, which is a global leader in functional medicine. It's a 501c3 nonprofit organization that's designed to bring functional medicine education globally and to develop collaborations and initiatives to advance functional medicine. And this collaboration has led to an extraordinary set of developments at Cleveland Clinic in just two short years. We've gone from one physician to eight physicians. We've gone from one small little clinic to now an 18,000 square foot space with eight providers, five nutritionists, two health coaches, uh, many, many other support staff. We've begun to implement nutrition in the curriculum in medical school and built an educational program uh, to expand the education of functional medicine here at Cleveland Clinic and beyond. And we've developed a research agenda, which has allowed us to begin randomized controlled trials in diabetes and asthma and more. We're developing programs in brain health and reversing early cognitive decline in autoimmune disease, as well as more importantly, looking at value-based care, because we believe that by using the methodology of creating health, which is the science of functional medicine, which is the science of creating health. We can improve outcomes and reduce costs, which creates true value-based healthcare. And nowhere else is this being looked at in a rigorous way. Every single patient who comes to the Center for Functional Medicine has outcomes data measured at every visit. We use the PROMISE data, which is patient-recorded outcome measures from the NIH. And we also have an IRB-approved study looking at total cost of care which is breaking down the barriers between payers and providers, sharing data around costs that allow us to get a total cost of care picture to look at utilization, look at medication use, look at hospitalizations, specialty visits, as well as other more soft quality of life indicators. So we now can measure outcomes and costs in a radical way that's never really been done carefully in healthcare and show that we can produce better outcomes at lower costs. Our initial data is very promising. We're going to be doing more and more rigorous studies on this. And this collaboration with the Institute for Functional Medicine has allowed us to really expand the model of functional medicine here at Cleveland Clinic and also influence care around the world. New centers are popping up to Providence Healthcare in, in the West and other organizations are really looking at what we're doing here at Cleveland Clinic as a beacon of, of change and a beacon of how we can create true value-based healthcare.